Today, I'm gonna be giving you guys an updated gaming room tour. All right, guys, let's make our way inside. So this is where all the magic happens. What I want you guys to see first is the back end, the backbone of the gaming room. We first have this smaller size shelf full of really cool stuff. At the top, we've got a little Fortnite chest that we've had for a while, a boogie bomb, a little space station hat, we gotta represent that. And then also, we've got an OG Game Boy. This was added to our collection not long ago. It also represents it being old school because my dad used to play a lot of Game Boy and so we're really happy that we can incorporate that into the room. Going down a little bit, we've got our collection of miniature game consoles. We've got the NES Remastered, the SNES, and we've got the OG PlayStation, and these are all mini versions that you can plug in and play whenever you want. In the back of that area, we've got a one-handed keyboard that I did a review on. It's probably the craziest keyboard that I've ever reviewed. We've also got this really sick Game Boy Watch that I think Nintendo sent us. We've also got some Fortnite figures, Funko Pops. Also, we've got the miniature game consoles. I've done a ton of mini miniature game console reviews on my channel already and we had to put those in the gaming room tour or else where would we put them you know to the right of the smaller shelf we have the one and only NBA Jam made by Arcade 1UP. This is actually my dad's most favorite arcade game ever and so we had to add that to the gaming room. So shout out to Arcade 1UP. And at the top we've got a couple of things that don't really light up anymore. <laughs> yeah, but they we, stopped working. Right, they stopped working but we definitely like the look of it and so we've got this little ghost light that doesn't work anymore. We've got a game room back sign that did work but doesn't anymore. So first off we've got a little working boogie bomb. This is a Namco museum. Namco? Namco? Let me know in the comments down below. We've also got a plush Fortnite llama. All of this Fortnite stuff reminds me of the good old days when you would get on Fortnite and you'd be so ecstatic to play. I still do that, but now I'm experimenting with other games. But we definitely like the Fortnite merchandise. We've also got a little Peely inside of a Chug Jug, because why not, am I right? We've got this massive Fortnite figure that was actually sent to us in the early days of Fortnite by Epic Games. And so, we keep this as like a little, a little... A little memento? A little memento of the uh, the first couple of days of Fortnite and how amazing they were. Also, these are the energy drinks that we're currently working on and they should be out by next year. These are three skateboards from YouTube. We think they're really cool and so we hung these up on the back. And it also reminds you to subscribe, share, and like. Up here we've hung up the Mr. B 100,000 subscriber plank. Plank? Plaque. We're making room right here for the 1 million subscribers. So, if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe or else I'm gonna make sure to step on all of your animal crackers. Okay? Thank you. We've got the Oculus Rift S headset that I've only had for around maybe a month now. And I'm really enjoying it. It's one of the best headsets I've ever played with. All right guys, let's go straight to my gaming setup. As you can see, my keyboard is the Steel Series Apex Pro TKL. I've got some rubber keycaps on it, fidget spinner keycap, and make sure to use code MrB, like my keyboard says. Over here we have the Final Mouse Ultralight Cape Town. And I have to say, out of all the mice that I've reviewed on this channel, this is my absolute favorite. But I'm definitely willing to try new mice if anyone wants to send me any. 
My monitor is an Alienware 25 inch monitor. It's the best monitor I've ever played with so far and I haven't had any problems yet with it. This camera over here usually records the keyboard cams for the streams as you can see there. <laughs> This camera is a Canon 80D which records my face while I play video games. Oh look, there's Mr. Beans. This is my gaming PC. I'm gonna leave the specs in the description down below for all of you guys. This is the streaming PC. I'll also leave the specs in the description down below. And this is the streaming setup here. We've got the Ducky 1-2 Mini that is connected to the streaming PC. And this is where I control OBS and all of the live stream info to make it perfect for you guys. We've also got a HyperX mouse connected to the Mac and a Razer mouse connected to the streaming PC. And here's a Mac keyboard and trackpad because my dad also edits on this PC screen. And whenever my dad or my friends want to join in on some gaming action, we have another PC set up right here for anyone who wants to play. And this is the Anpro 60% keyboard. I really love the Anpros and so does my dad and that's why it's his ideal keyboard. Oh look, he also enjoys the Final Mouse Cape Town. The headsets that we use are the Bear Dynamics DT990 Pro. And once I put them on, I can play for hours and not feel sweaty in my ears because who would like that, am I right? And here is the other gaming PC that is connected to this gaming setup. I'll leave the specs in the description down below for this one as well. So the cable management under the table was usually very clean when we started out. Over time, it's gotten a little bit worse, and so we're not gonna show you that today. Maybe. You, sure? you, don't, you don't want me to? You don't no to, thanks, no thanks. No, we don't, just, we, you guys don't need to Just from up here, that's it? Right, that's, okay, look that's at that. good enough. Clean, clean cable management, clean. guys. Clean cable management. This is the mini stream deck. And for anyone that doesn't know what a stream deck is, it's basically a little set of buttons that you can press to perform different actions. So we've got different things that Miss B can say or do, like she can take the L, and you can actually see that on stream. That's fire. Um, Let's press Dr. Disrespect. Oh. Ready? Three, two, one. Dang. Welcome to the <laughs> Champions. <laughs> we definitely can't forget the Space Station Vertigear chairs. This is the comfiest chair that you'll ever sit in in your entire life, but we've got the Space Station logo. After streams, I take a step back and I'm just like, And also, before I go, I want to show you guys the nano lights. So this was in the previous room tour, but I love them so much and the lights are so cool. We haven't had to change them or update them or anything. They've been super awesome. And so shout out to nano lights. And a couple weeks ago, we added some LEDs that go behind the desks and that also go behind the back wall. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching the gaming room tour today. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. But until next time, I'm just going to go and play some Fall Guys, so let's do that right now.